Oh, okay. Again, sorry. Before we start this uh, segment, a live trade proposal. Let's go. Oh. Ooh. Drew Jones? You got an offer from Drew Jones? Yeah, do you think this is the real Drew Jones? No way. Anyways, all right, let's Oh, oh, it's a rare for a It's ooh. rare for 3 ooh. limited. Oh, Brian Oh, this is this is, this is actually so, a trick. All right. This is perfect. This is perfect. So, I did I looked at the prices and the 3 limiteds equal to about 25 bucks. Trevor Story has been hurt all season and half of last season. So there, he doesn't have any rare cards listed, so it's hard to get a price comparison. It sounds like he's making good progress. He's rehabbing well, but I still haven't really heard a time frame for his return. So it's like, how long do you wait out a Trevor Story return? So my my thinking, like, and this is this is how I approach like kind of random offers, especially if it's for a card like not listed. Like for example, like let's say you have like a backup. Like, this is a perfect example where I would wonder, like, what does this person know that I don't know? Mm -hmm. So, honestly, like, these offers are kind of great because they kind of get me, ex they kind of do a little bit of scouting for you. If this person offered you right now, you like, what did they see that made them want this card? Right. Especially if he's been hurt. Like, was there information that came out that he's due back in two weeks? So now they're like, oh, okay, let's let's try to get this person for a steal yeah this is an interesting one but it's it's always fun to kind of get random offers i think for cards that haven't sold you could look to see what trevor story was putting up before and look at players that put up similar numbers now at the same position that's that might be the best way to compare it like what does a starting shortstop that maybe averages eight points a game that that to me is like a would be a good approximation of what his value could be. All right. So something we pointed out here is this receiving offer method. However, you can of course use this method for scouting and sending your own offers too. Of course, you might be looking for someone like Story who is injured, or you might be looking for someone who's a little bit less scouted, or you might just be trying to get rid of some players that you don't use or spend a little bit more money, whatever. Look for these players and scout them out. Injured players that haven't played in a long time or cards that aren't on the market anymore. See if you can find people who have those in their gallery because sometimes players that aren't playing will be easier for people to get rid of than players that they are using a lot. So there you have it. That's about all. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, of course, and like this video. And new podcast tomorrow. Let's go. See you guys.